I don't think I'm the only person here who got a major Combat Evolved vibes from watching this new Dawn trailer, mainly because the Master Chief that we saw within this trailer was uh, straight up like Combat Evolved era Master Chief. Like the dude was looking so good, right? And so, but I did make a video previously talking about how don't get your hopes up too high, right guys? Cause I did make this video uh, a couple of weeks ago, or like last week actually, and I'm talking about it, saying not Unreal Engine 5 Halo CE, as I was pointing out that the Unreal, the, uh, the armor set that we did see within this reveal is pretty much like the same armor set that's in Halo Infinite right now, just imported into Unreal Engine 5, which is a great thing of the Unreal Engine's capabilities, right? They're able to do these kind of things, which is fantastic. But I'm saying like this isn't like what we're going to be seeing for the next Master Chief, though we definitely could, which would be amazing and of course we do know of the recent leaks and rumors about uh combat evolved anniversary 2.0 if you will coming in as one of the multiple projects working at over at 343 so in this video i want to go more into like could this trailer right here actually be a source of a reveal that we are going to get a combat evolved anniversary 2.0 because i got major ce vibes from watching this, uh, I, want, I guess I could call it a trailer, but more of a uh, demo ex demonstration, uh, recruiting tool more than anything else, really. Because the, the thing of like, they put a big emphasis on the biomes when it came to uh, this reveal, and that the two bi three biomes that they showcased were obviously the Pacific Northwest, uh, Cascadia, classic biomes that we know and love from Halo uh, Combat Evolved the icy fields right and also right here the blight fields of uh, covered by the flood and what were the three major locations that were in combat evolved uh the C C cascadia northwest vibes the snow vibes and also these vibes of the blights like the blight field man like this looked so crazy to see but like this right here is like straight up combat evolved vibes for me right here so it makes sense of like, why would they want to make a demonstration of what they could do in Unreal, but then also not have it be something that be tied to what the game could be, right? Then one, one of the multiple projects, we do know that 343 are currently working on multiple projects at the moment for Halo. So I, I kind of want to dive into that a little bit to kind of see like, why would we need another Combat Evolved Anniversary remake? But it seems like oftentimes, like, we, you know, we get these leaks and rumors that oftentimes they are very true. Uh, we, like I stated earlier back uh, when this was first revealed, saying that Tom Warren states that Combat Evolved Remaster is coming, working in Unreal Engine and possibly coming over to the PlayStation for the Project Latitude, which would totally make sense for a uh, PlayStation era availability for Halo to, well, start with Combat Evolved out of all the games. But the thing is that, like, we already have a Combat Evolved Anniversary remake, so it would feel a little redundant to make this, right? Because um, it just seems like it would just be what we would want, would have wanted from the Combat Evolved Anniversary remake. Uh, but I think also, I want to touch back a little bit also, before we dive more into that, uh, specific verbiage that we got when it came to the uh, blog that we had here from Halo Studios specifically mentioning this right here saying chapter one was bungie chapter two being 343 industries and now we think we have an audience which is hungry for more they reference halo studios as chapter three but the thing is that when you think of chapter one what was the first game you started off with combat evolved obviously <laughs> and then chapter two 343 industries now people will think halo 4 but when you think about it the first Halo game that they actually worked on was actually Halo Reach. The reins were handed over during Halo Reach. But the first game to have the 343 name on it was actually Combat Evolved Anniversary, which was released back in 2011 on the anniversary, the 10th anniversary of Halo Combat Evolved. So would Chapter 3 also start on Combat Evolved? I mean, I feel like that would make some sense, right? Uh, especially since I think the Combat Evolved anniversary that we did get left a lot to be desired. I mean, let's be real, like, even though, like, this was a solid recreation of Combat Evolved, right? I mean, they basically just put, like, a nice little pretty skin over the entire game, right? 
But the thing is that like the art style just didn't quite match the original vibes and it always just felt like something was always missing when it came to this version of Combat Evolved. Like it's always felt like, I always felt really torn like yeah it looks nicer and still the same gameplay but I almost find myself rather playing in the classic graphics than in these graphics and the more, at the time, modern day graphics. It's, uh, there's one level in particular that really kind of showcases, like, or actually two levels, I would say, that really showcase the difference between uh, the classic and the uh, the modern Combat Evolved Anniversary 2 version. One level is definitely the library right here. It's everything's just so bright. It loses the moodiness to it where like the original is much darker, more drabby kind of thing where like everything is just so washed out and like the contrast is super low, right? So then there's no, the darks aren't really dark. The brights aren't very bright. Nothing really stands out. It just feels so flat. It's just so odd that they chose this type of lighting when it came to this. And also another one would definitely be the level of 343 Guilty Spark when you first start out on this. Like the entire uh, beginning part of this mission where it's supposed to be kind of like this scary, moody, kind of like ominous, spooky thing. Like what's going to happen next? You kind of lose that side of things, which like this would look absolutely amazing if it was done in uh, just like regular lighting but since everything is so bright you and like you kind of lose that sense of uh what's the word i'm looking for like fear i guess not necessarily fear but like the unknowing right you can't see that far the fog blocks your vision it's dark out you you it causes a sense of fear like i can't no i don't know what's around the corner with this kind of lighting and stuff like it definitely loses that and i'm hoping that like with going to unreal engine 5 version it's something that we could see them try to emphasize a quite a bit more of. Um, but also like kind of going back into it though, it's like, yeah, a nice little glare of graphics is nice. Yeah, like having a nice looking CE would be cool, but it just would feel so redundant because we've already been there. We've done that. So uh, one person I know that you guys want to hear his opinion on when it comes to like combat, uh, re -evol uh, combat Evolved Anniversary Remake 2.0 would be from Marcus Leto, where he's you know made a comment back on January June 6 when this kind of news was starting to go out from Ryan McCaffrey he retweeted them but saying like say what if cut missions weapons characters and storyline elements were reintegrated along with contemporary core mechanics that improve gameplay while remaining faithful to the original now that's something I think we could definitely get along with I think that could definitely be something really cool uh but I Part of me also makes me wonder, like, does that also entail, like, just adding more stuff to Combat Evolved? Which, I mean, would be kind of fun, but I don't know if that would be something would be really that interesting to play out, honestly. Mainly just because, like, we've done this so many times over, right? I wouldn't find it that exciting to just jump back in and keep playing the same missions that we've played for the last 20 at the time would be 25 years probably when if we do get a combat evolved remake uh so one thing i think would be kind of interesting and since we're referencing like a new chapter in halo and also going over the playstation potentially allegedly what if they kind of just retold the story of combat evolved and started completely fresh and kind of pulled like what I was thinking, maybe like a Modern Warfare 2019 style of a uh, update where like, if you guys remember with the Call of Duty franchise at the time, this was actually incredibly well received where essentially what they did is they took the same story elements from Call of Duty 4, which was kind of like the pivotal moment of Call of Duty franchise. And then they basically took those same characters, but kind of put them in new situations and kind of remixed the story elements in a little bit way, but still hit the major beats in a similar type of fashion. You know, they did the same thing with uh, Modern Warfare 2 that came out came out back in 2022. Uh, but you know, maybe it's introduced some new characters, maybe some new storylines, new missions, things like that, but still felt like the same type of game. And I'm wondering if we could pull up something similar with Combat Evolved. That would be super interesting. Though the biggest problem for me would be that they would essentially have to just throw out all the old school lore of Halo and then kind of section it off into its own like legacy storyline and start a brand new story with a Combat Evolved anniversary or Combat or just call it Combat Evolved. But then it's like this where it's like 
a retelling but in a new fashion old but new uh, familiar but different kind of thing that you can tr possibly pull off but it's just this game completely revitalized the entirety of the call of duty franchise at the time there was a super huge cod fatigue the jump pack era was just completely overdone they did world war ii people were super meh about it right so going back with this tactical military feel that you know that the uh, call of duty franchise was so well known for worked out super well for them so this is something that 343, I'm sorry, Halo Studios could potentially pull off as well. I mean, that would be kind of interesting, but it would be a very, very fine line. Uh, but I, I don't know if you could really pull that off properly just because people are so attached to the lore and have such fond memories of Combat Evolved specifically that if you were to go back and just kind of like do your own version of it, which it's been the biggest issue when it comes to anything from Microsoft since the Microsoft era of Halo is that 343, now Halo Studios, have been so prideful in trying to make their version of what they want Halo to be and to then go back over and just kind of remake your home version just wouldn't really fit right with the fan base. So I'm curious if they could one, make it a fresh experience that make people who are veterans of the franchise play over again or bring back old fans to start a brand new era of Halo, which is kind of what they tried to do with Halo Infinite. Obviously, the engine was the biggest issue why we couldn't move forward with that. But I mean, there's a lot of different ways that uh, Microsoft could go about making a Combat Evolve 2.0. I mean, and also, I think also I forgot to mention this earlier that like I think a really important thing to point out when it came to the new Dawn trailer that when you look at it on YouTube here, they when you scroll down, you see the title, description, and all that kind of stuff. But the really important thing here is that they tagged Combat Evolved as the game for this uh demo engine reveal, which I just find super interesting, right? Out of all the Halo games. That you want to tag in there you tagged combat evolved anniversary so it just kind of makes me wonder if that's one maybe just like the vibes they're trying to capture or if 343 or now halo studios are hinting at something do you guys think about that in the comments let me know down below if you made this far in the video let me know with a green heart if you want let me know who the real ones are out there in the in the comments out there thank you guys all so much for watching i greatly appreciate it i'll catch you on the next one peace out